Snaps in your heads. How you doing? How you been? What's happening? What's happening? What's good? Hey, before we get this video started, you already know, go on and smash that thumbs up. You know what we're trying to do. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So in this video, we got that what? That we weekly need, baby. Yes, sir. That weekly. weekly. I'm going to let my brother go ahead and start off. My brother, what you got for me? All right, so on uh, April the 10th, G Chrome, this is a men's pair of shoes. Um, like I mentioned, this is a woman pair of shoes. Uh, what makes this shoe stand out is that chrome look that it have, that metallic silver. You know, it demands attention off the feet. I can see this shoe being more of like a, uh, a possible cheerleader shoe for the women. And um, yeah, so um, price point of 180. Um, this is a women's pair of shoe, like I mentioned. What makes this shoe stands out to me is that that midsole they did with the, with the translucent appeal on the shoe itself. This shoe to me, man, it speaks cheerleader. For the women, I could see this shoe <laughs> being a nicer shoe if it was low versus the the high top, you know, high. A nicer shoe there. Um, I really don't understand where Jordan brand was going with this shoe, with the colorway. I, I really don't understand where they were going with it. It is a unique shoe. It's a unique design. Hey, I applaud Jordan brand for that. But I really don't get where they were going with that. Hey, drop us a comment down below if you agree or disagree. Either way, you know, I am a woman one fan, always been a one fan, and I believe this would be first of me dumping those, so me giving those a thumbs down, because it really don't make sense on where Jordan Brand was going with this shoe. What about you, my brother? I mean, sneakers right here, yeah. too. Uh, and just to let y'all know that Jordan Brand did already come out with the Jordan 1 Low in the same colorway, as well as a, a Jordan 1 Mid, and both of those are still sitting on Nike.com. Uh, the only way I can see these, unless you are some like Michael Jackson fan, you want to get them, you know, the magic glove or something, but other than that, dropping these. Let us know down in the comments, sneaky heads, are you rocking these or dropping these? What we have next? So moving on brother. to the next shoe. On April the 12th, we do have a Jordan 1 Golf. It's called the Endless Pursuit. This is uh, coming out of price point of $140. This is a pretty clean colorway, in my opinion. The overall shoe is majority of the shoe is black and white. It's like a panda colorway. However, it does have features that double swoosh, which doesn't do well on Jordans. And uh, because this is a golf shoe, I do see the sitting. It does have some pebble texture around the toe box and the long eyelids. I do think that's a nice touch as well as the back also has that pebble effect on it. It does have a blacked out Jordan Wings logo on the back. Looks like some patent leather. I do think that's a nice touch. Now this is the part that I don't agree with. Now you are playing golf and it does feature that iridescent see-through golf shoe, which I know is going to get very dirty out there on the golf course. I do think it's a nice touch as far as it looks pretty cool and it says you can see the Jordan logo as well as it says golf and multiple times over and over like a pattern on the bottom of the sole. I do think that's really cool but it's going to get very, very dirty and then and white midsole is going to get all dirty too. So I don't know who was designing these. Maybe they want you to rock these castle I don't know. But we want to also give a shout out to at Diesel Power 1330. So we did ask what was that plus sign and that watermark on the box of the Jordan 1 Golf Shoe. And come to find out, that means it's, it's it means two years waterproof warranty. So thank you for that information. We didn't know that. We appreciate that. And we're also looking for more comments like this. And if you do leave a comment, we will try to shout you out in our next video. So we appreciate y'all and keep on leaving those comments, sneakerheads. So yes, overall, sir. I am rocking this shoe. And how, what about you, my brother? What do you think hey, about these? It's a clean shoe. I mean, it's a clean, very clean shoe um i agree with you for us you know with it getting dirty for us on the on the golf course um i am a one fan um I, i'm i really liking the shoe itself but um i'll be rocking those i'll be rocking those hey drop us a comment down below if you're rocking those or dropping those we got next one brother so on the same day, hey, you know, with the Masters coming up, um, it's a it's a second pair of um, golf shoes, the Air Jordan 9 Masters. This is um, a men's pair. Price point for those is $230. Um, what makes this shoe stands out to me is what they did to the insole. You know, it looked like if you look at the insole itself, it looked like that, the, the Jordan logo Jumpman, it looked like it was burnt into wood. And then I'm really liking that. I'm liking in the suede. I truly don't understand wh why is it coming out in the spring. This is not a spring color, Jordan brand. I don't know if you're signing off on these shoes, Jordan, Michael Jordan, <laughs> but, but I don't know. But
but it, it doesn't make sense. I mean, hey, it's the Masters. Why wouldn't it go green? I mean, that makes more sense than this colorway with the brown and the suede. It really don't make sense. In the fall, I can I, I can understand that. But in the spring, it really don't make sense my way. Hey, drop us a comment down below. Either you agree or disagree. And saying all that, hey, I will be dropping those. I will be dropping those. What about you, my brother? I'll be dropping these as well. Uh, I really don't like brown shoes. That's why I'm bro uh, dropping these. But I just want to point out, it does feature a pretty cool hang tag, which I haven't seen before. It does look kind of like a coaster, kind of like a cork board. I don't know what the material is made out of, but that's really cool hang tag. Other than that, I'm dropping these. <laughs> <laughs> so what we got next, my brother? We're moving on to the last shoe, in my opinion, top pick of the week, April 13th. We do have an Air Jordan 5 SC. Does come with a hefty retail price of 210. Again, normally Jordan 5s cost $200, but because this is a special edition SC, they added 10 more dollars. I don't know if the materials are very good on this or what. Ironically, this is called Orwood Brown slash Coconut Milk. Some people are calling this a sale colorway. It's a pretty clean shoe for the spring and summer. I'm not totally rocking these only because I know that these remind me of another shoe that already came out, the Jordan 5 Crafts. And the Jordan 5 Crafts are sitting right now. This shoe right here, my size, size 10 on Stock X, is already going for under retail. At a, I don't see these doing well, but it is a clean overall colorway. Normally, the shoe is sale. It does feature that black along the shark teeth. It does have that white white midsole around the front it does have that ore wood or sale colorway at the bottom of the shoe at the top we do see that black around the toe box it does come with some nice clear cell and you can see that black jordan jump man at the bottom in the middle foot we do have all white it would have been nicer if they would have had that jordan embossed in black to make the shoe pop then finishing off the back of the shoe we do have that cell again as you notice the the laces in here are cell i do think that's a nice touch to bring the cell back up but overall this is the clean shoe the tongue looks a little bit thinner than normal it does feature that that black jordan jump man on the tongue around the back we do hear the jordan jump man no additional 23 on either side of the shoe one thing i do like about it this shoe is they did make the sock liner black so you won't have to worry about getting the, the shoe on the inside all dirty when you put your foot in there I do think that's a nice touch it does feature that clear net netting on the side overall this is a very clean shoe i'm gonna go ahead and rock these because i am a five mover and i do rock the five what do you think about these my brother you know i think they went a little bit overboard with the sale you you know, um, it is a clean shoe, but my concern with the scuffing of it, you know, um, I'm loving the laces. I'm loving the cell laces, but I mean, you know, it just go attract, you know, someone scuffing it. And I couldn't see me really rocking this with, with, with outfits, you know, and saying I will be dropping those. I will be dropping those. And, hey, you rocking those or dropping those? Hey, drop us a comment down below. So if you look at this shoe, it does remind me of the Jordan 5 Craft that came out on May 17th in 2023. Came out last year. Feature color of that shoe was light, orwood brown, and safety orange. So if we compare these two to side by side, the only difference is the shark tooth was gray on the last shoe. On this one, it's black. On the last shoe, it was gray on the interior liner. On this one, it's black. And then the biggest difference, of course, is the jump man on the tongue. On the ore wood, we did that orange safety. And on this one, we had the black jump man. Both of these shoes are clean, and they both are going on the retail right now. So you want these going to snatch them up, sneakerheads. Yes, sir. Hey, if you guys continue to love content like this, hey, check out that video right there. Like we say for sure, when you're blessed. Hey, bless others. Peace. Peace.